All right, more people are apparently afraid of public speaking than they are of death. All right, that's a commonly known thing. In fact, I remember I heard Jerry Seinfeld, the famous comedian, say one time, he said, you know, at most funerals, the, the average person would rather be the one in the casket than giving the eulogy because people are so scared to death, uh, almost literally in some cases, uh, of public speaking. And here's a quick tip to overcome, uh, to start overcoming that. A uh, quick little tip, it can calm your nerves. There are a lot of different ways to do it. This is one I, I, I didn't intentionally find. I just started doing it uh, just to make conversation and I found that it actually worked. Oh, and by the way, I'm here at the park with my kids. They're running around having fun. We're gonna go home and make some, we're gonna actually buy all this stuff to make our own, bake our own pizza tonight for dinner. Rock on. Whenever mom's out of the house, we eat ice cream and pizza for dinner. So we're gonna have a good time. But back to my point, that's called a rabbit trail, by the way, in public speaking. But if you want to get past the fear of speaking, one great way to do it is when you get to the event, a lot of, unless you're a well-known face, oh, hold on real quick, but <laughs> unless you're really well-known and people recognize your face, most people aren't going to know who you are. And one thing you can do is just go around and start shaking hands with the audience members uh, before you get on stage, before your presentation. Uh, arrive early and you can just walk around, shake people's hands, say hello, um, you know, just get to know them. And some people are really uh, hesitant to do that because they say, well, you know, I'm not that extroverted or I'm not that outgoing of a person. Look, if you're giving a speech to this audience already, like you own that place already. You're like, you're going to be on stage. They're going to know of you. So it's, it, you know, get up there and walk into that place and just start shaking hands and saying hi, introduce yourself, ask people about themselves. They love talking about themselves. Trust me, my favorite topic is me and your favorite topic is you, all right? That's just how humans are wired, all right? What's in it for us? So, and the reason this works so well is because it's a lot easier to talk to a group of friends than it is to talk to a group of strangers who you may be tempted to think that little voice in your head is saying, uh, these people are judging me, or maybe you see the look on their face and maybe they're just listening intently, but they're not uh, necessarily agreeing. And, uh, or maybe they are agreeing, but you just can't tell by looking at them, especially if it's like a military audience or something. Uh, not a whole lot of emotion to play off of and know if your message is getting through or not. And so one of the easy things to do is just to talk to people. Talk to people, shake their hands. Because again, it's easier to talk to somebody you've already sort of met, they're already kind of a friend, than a bunch of complete strangers. And believe it or not, it's a lot easier. And, and you can even, you can even uh, when you're talking, you, you might even see some of those people in the audience and you can look at them and a lot of times if they got to know you and like you for a minute uh, before the talk, then it's a lot easier. You might actually see them smiling or nodding their head and engaging with you uh, from the platform and that actually helps you to know that there's a difference being made. And uh, that's my son Blake in the background. Hey Blake, what's your shirt say? Ladies man. You know, last time, funny thing, last time we were at this park and he wore that shirt, a little girl about his age uh, ran past him and he said, hey, and she stopped and looked at him and he said, hey, you're cute. And I said, man, you are the ladies man because I never had the guts to say that to a girl when I was his age. Blake's my boy. So. Can I take his shoes off? Yeah, I'll leave him on for now. What? He took yours off. Oh, well. Uh, so anyway. Get to know, uh, just shake hands before your talk. Shake hands with people, as many of them as you can. Because, uh, and here's here's an after effect that, that you probably won't foresee. A lot of people, again, they won't know that you're the one talking on the stage. They won't know you're a speaker. And you, you'd be shocked at how honored people feel when they see you get up on stage and they go, oh, oh my gosh, that's the guy who talked to me beforehand. Like, oh, I didn't know he was the speaker. And they feel so honored that the person who was getting up on stage to, to speak took the time to talk to him for at least a minute or two uh, before the talk. And I can't tell you how many times I've done this and I get off stage and people come up and they say, they, they say exactly that. They say, wow, I had no idea you were the speaker. Now I'm humbled by that. I mean, I'm, I'm just average like everybody else, but people see you in this higher light sometimes, they're tempted to, or sometimes they do if you're on stage speaking. So the fact that you took time out of your day, even if it's a minute or two to say hi to them, People honor that and they respect that so much and they appreciate it. And that's where a lot of real, genuine, authentic impact comes in through your message. It isn't through necessarily what you said, but just by virtue of the fact that you took the time to say hi to them, even if they didn't know you were the speaker. 
then they respect it so much more. Okay, go for it. It's about 100 degrees out here. My daughter's getting a drink of water. There she goes. Where's she? There she is. Sheila says, hey, Brian, I love that tip. I always take a few minutes to get to know the people I, I cook for before dinner. It makes me less nervous. Exactly. Uh, Sheila is in, uh, she's part of Use Your Story. Uh, her and her husband both are in my Use Your Story online mentoring program. So if you want to make a difference in an income sharing your story, uh, just go to useyourstory.com. In fact, the link is in the description. Um, but Sheila also cooks for people. And uh, she goes around and does these cooking parties and she cooks amazing food. I've never eaten coleslaw in my life, but when she made it, I couldn't get enough of it. And that's some pretty gross stuff where I come from. But needless to say, she's an amazing cook. And you know, even though people might not look at that, here's a good example, Sheila. People might not look at cooking for you as public speaking, but you know, you're talk anything you're doing to talk to people and engage with people, that's public speaking. And these tactics, they all work. They work in all these different areas. I mean, whether it's oh, it's getting windy out here. Better get back over here, Rick. Whether it's on the stage, whether you're in business and you're just holding a board meeting, whether you're going around doing cooking parties for people, you're you're communicating, you're talking with people. So anytime you can just get to know people before the fact of that you start doing whatever it is you do, it's gonna make a lot of impact. So again, if you've ever wanted to make an impact in people's lives with your message, maybe it's your business like Sheila, or maybe you just you feel that you have a story to tell, you have a message to share. Maybe it's your life story and what you learned through it, but you have no idea where to begin and you feel frustrated and overwhelmed because there's so much out there, so much training and you don't know where to begin and you just feel like your message is gonna die inside of you. Go to useyourstory.com. My program teaches exactly that. And yeah, you will invest in the program. It'll be one of the greatest investments you'll ever make, but we also have some free information on there, some great free resources uh, to get you plugged in right. So check me out at useyourstory.com. Have a wonderful day and go out there and make a difference with your story today.